Studio 7, in collaborazione con Sport e Piceno Game, presenta l'intervista di Pietro. Uh, the band decided to call himself Rain at the end, at the beginning of his history in 1980, due to um, facility of um, uh, using this kind of uh, name uh, to call the band to be free to be free to play rock music, metal music, uh, punk music. Because in the beginning, the, the first lineup didn't know uh, as well which kind of music they will perform in the future. Uh, there, is, there are a lot of uh, curiosity. There are a lot of curiosity about uh, under this um, this moniker because uh, uh, also the great band Oasis from the Liam Liam and Noel Gallagher brothers. And they um, they called rain before they changed to oasis, and maybe we have to change the name to become famous as they are. <laughs> That's all. Well, um, the new album, A New Tomorrow, is, uh, um, is a song of, of the first time that we work together with a producer. For the first time in Rain history, the band worked not by themselves on the, from the beginning to the end of, of the album, but we worked, we decided to work with a producer, Giuseppe Bassi. And I wish and I wish to thank him because he always helped us to find the right sound for this new album. He mixed the album and he mastered the album uh, with then with the help of Dan Corneff. So um, this is a new album, uh, a new life, and a new beginning for. Uh, for, for the band Rain with a sound more modern, more modern, adult oriented, and uh, uh, I wish uh, to say go and listen in because uh, it's a great album. Cover of the new album, A New Tomorrow, is a masterpiece, is a great opera about our designer, uh, Umberto Stagni. He made, he made this master, masterpiece um, mixing the, the shape of our new singer, Ivo Mala, our shape of the band, me, Gabri, Garner, and Freddy, and he uh, reached the, the wall 
figure uh, with the, um, the playing cards similar to Tarocchi and uh, um, every card, each card uh, is um, linked to a previous uh, cover. So uh, in this new album, you can find details uh, taken from all the previous cover you write since you work for us, for the band, since um, 2010, about. You told me you're the one, you told me you're my dream, you told me I am crazy about you. You gave me all your love, you gave me all I needed, you gave me strength to start my new life. Well, about the lyrics, Evil Mala, the new single, wrote all the lyrics of the new album after writing the, um, the melody line. Um, the song, we, we write the song together, starting from a music idea about me or uh, about the other guitar player for TV. We both um, try to put in a rehearsal room some riff, some chords, some sequences, half tracks, and then working together, we, we arrived at the, the full song. And then uh, Mala put the, the lyrics and he decided how sing it so about uh, for our <laughs> italian language uh, english is uh, difficult to to use to, to do a very very deep and uh, meaning but we try to be direct and to put um, a meaning that everybody who listens the song can travel with us Well, uh, and, and, um, when a, when a song when a song uh, born is always because you can have a good day, a bad day. Um, every every thing you do in your life, in your job, with your friends, with your parents, uh, every everything can help you to write new music and everything. What happened? You can bring it and put it, put in your music, uh, and and it's the the healing power of music, who helps you to stay good, to feel fine, and the new song, when she decides to came up, is a uh, great things for you to, to stay well and also for the people around you. I, I wish you well. You tell me I'm no one. You well, uh, when you when you work when you work in a, in a, in a studio or rehearsal room, the the, the moment. It's very good to take concentration, to, to work as a team, to to push all the all the stuff to the limit, to to its limit. So maybe uh, you can uh, have free time to, to hang around or have a beer or, or a break or a cigarette or dinner or lunch together. But maybe the best time to to go to have fun is when you are on the road on tour so the, the most funny moment I, I remember about the band they are all about touring when we tour US USA Northern America Europe when we go abroad we always have more fun 
Well, about uh, you, you described very, very good what the feelings related to playing on stage. And the, before, before the show, maybe uh, you can have some fear, but when you arrive at the venue and plug all the technical stuff, at the end you find the right way to do your music and when the concert begin, when the show began, another matter, you can play one hour, two hour and more. And for you is like smoking a cigarette, a few minutes and a rapid fire and all the healing power of music helps you and your audience to stay well. And this is the magical power of music in my opinion. Well, yeah, yeah, great, great, uh, great situation. Uh, for me, the, be the best, uh, best concert, and the best live experience I remember. And I will will carry always with me for the for the, the rest of my life is is a concert that we played here in our hometown Bologna in a in a venue called Estragon and we um, we 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 got the, the phone call of the organizer the promoter the, of the local promoter asking us to to hey hey Amos Come with the band right here, right now at the club because you have to play because uh, Airborne lose uh, their supporting act. So uh, we pick our stuff, go to the venue. In a uh, couple of hours, we are we were ready to play. We go to play, and then the the little venue was so packed, so full, more than two thousand people, but not for the amount of people but for the for the roar for the scream for the moan for, for all the uh, the chaos the they can put i, I remember uh, those concerts for the best in my life Well, uh, technical, technical uh, answer uh, or questions about uh, our question, our our gear are often uh, uh, about the concert. People ask. So, um, for me, it's a pleasure to explain what kind of gear we use, which kind of guitars, uh, uh, strings or wah or pedals, or cabinet. And every time that I can explain to my people what we use, I am happy, and they are happy too. Well, uh, when I start, uh, I was influenced by the new wave of British heavy metal, so Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, and also the the, the metal, metal uh, uh, American metal like Bayaria, Trash, Anthrax, Testament, Metallica, Megadeth, maybe some Man of War, ACDC, uh, Motorhead. So, <coughs> sorry. So uh, then, growing older, growing older. <coughs> sorry, I, I I found modern inspiration from corn, 
Limbiff kit and also Faith More Red Hot Chili Peppers. And in, at the end, now at the moment, I think that Five Finger Death Punch is the main act. And we wish to be the answer, the European answer at the band Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> Well, um, to describe rain music, uh, it, it's a mash. It's a mash from the early 1980s, early days of uh, metal as group such as Metallica, uh, mixed mesh, meshed up, the, the, the new blood came, the new breed came from a uh, new band uh, like Five Finger the Punch. So we are, we, the new album, our new music is a perfect balance between Metallica and Five Finger the Punch. <laughs> Well, we are rain, and uh, thank you very much for this great interview. A big, huge, and best regards to all the fans uh, around. Uh, our website, raincrew.com, find it and uh, search all the links for all the social networks, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can find the band everywhere. We can find our music everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, wherever you want, YouTube. And um, for the one in the Bologna area, we, you can see us live on the 7th of January on a, in a club called Alchemica with Deathless Legacy and Paul. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Studio 7, in collaborazione con Sport e Piceno Game, presenta l'intervista di Pietro.